Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be doing more with sprites using Compass. So if you recall last time, we created this vertical social uh, sprite out of icons that we had in this social folder. And you may have thought, wow, that was super easy, it was really cool, but you know, uh, this doesn't, this sprite that doesn't necessarily cover all use cases. You know, what, what if you wanted it horizontal? What if you wanted spacing in between them? What if you wanted, um, you know, hover states and stuff like that. Well, we're going to go over all of that right now. And so first off, I'm going to show you spacing because it's super easy. So let's say, you know, this default spacing that's in between those wasn't enough. Let's say you want like 20 pixels in between. Well, uh, luckily, you know, Compass makes it really easy for us as pretty much everything. So we're going to do, uh, it's a dollar sign and then it's going to be whatever your map's name is. And in, in this case, ours is social. So it's going to be social, and we're going to do hyphen, and then the word spacing. And then if we set, uh, and then that's a colon, a semicolon. So then if we set this, uh, what this is is a variable. If we set this variable to be 20 pixels, it's going to make the padding, or the spacing between all of our images 20 pixels. So let's save this and see how it changes our sprite. If you notice, it's generating here right in front of our eyes and here's 20 pixels in between each image. That's awesome. Um, if you wanted more control over this, let's say you don't want 20 pixels in between all of them, but for some reason one of your images needs a little bit more padding around it, or a little bit more spacing. So we can say uh, social, and then whatever the name of that image is, let's use Facebook as an example. So do Facebook hyphen, so it now says dollar sign social hyphen our image name hyphen spacing uh, colon and then our value and then 20 and then a semicolon so we save this and now Facebook should be the only one with 20 pixels spacing around it so that's pretty fine control over the spacing there um, I would check out uh, on compass uh, hyphen style dot org there's all sorts of other options for the sprite maps um, they all follow this pattern so the name of your map um, and then the uh, um, and then the option so op other options are you know whether it's position it's uh, whether it's repeating or not um, you can give it a, your sprite map a base class um, you can give your sprite a dimension so I mean those are the other features and just be aware I would go and check out and see what else you can do but this is the the general format of it here okay so that's cool right but what if uh, the vertical thing wasn't doing it for you what if you needed your icons uh, space differently let's comment this out save this okay um, well that luckily that's really easy to do with compass it's very similar to how we did the spacing as well. So what we're going to do is do dollar sign and then our map's name, in this case again it's social, and then we're going to say uh, layout. And what do we want to set this layout to since it's vertical right now? Let's try horizontal. Okay, I'll save this, check out our sprite. It's horizontal, awesome, easy. Okay. So what if you wanted this more customizable? What if you wanted it, say, diagonal? Well, luckily, Compass uh, has that feature as well. And check out the sprite. Here they are diagonally. It's awesome. Uh, allows us to use the space and to the right of it without having any conflicts with any of the sprite images. OK, well, there's also a feature called Smart. And what Smart does is if you have a bunch of different icons, it's sort of going to uh, compact them into the, the most effective layout. So let's do Smart here, save this, and we'll see what that does with our icons. As you can see, it just does vertical. If any of these icons were to be different shapes, it might fill in this sprite a different way to make this uh, image a little bit different. So. Okay, so let's actually throw another image here. Um, since I didn't have any images handy, I really just made this instant messenger icon super large. So um, it's, I mean, it's like 200 pixels. Um, and so it's gonna be super pixelated because that's not the, you know, the native resolution of it. But let's save this. And of course, um, Compass is going to generate our um, sprite for us. And as you can see, it's actually changed the layout. 
it's uh, made these vertical and it's have this taking up the horizontal space here. Um, so this smart layout is good if you have a bunch of different icons and you just want to sort of compactly put them into your sprite. Okay, well that's cool. But let's say you want to add something like a hover state or an active state and you have a bunch of images. Uh, well, luckily, Compass makes that super easy as well. So we're just going to go to our folder here. And since I don't actually have another rollover state or um, you know, a target state for any of these, I'm just going to use this RSS one. And this will make our, our point pretty visual here. Um, so we're going to actually have this be the hover state of the Facebook icon. And that's really easily obtainable by just having the file name be Facebook underscore hover. And that's it. So we don't have to actually make any changes to our SAS. So let's save this and let's check out our CSS. As you can see, it automatically knew that that was the hover state. So Facebook hover and it's giving it a change in background position. So now if we hover over this, it's going to change the background position to this RSS icon. Um, of course, you'd want to use this with actual hover states. And right now there is a CSS transition on it, which is why it's doing that run to it. But um, typically it would just switch out the image like a normal hover state. Well, that is the magic with sprites and compass. Um, as you can see, it's pretty impressive. It can handle almost anything that you need to throw at it. And if you need to dig a little bit more in, you know, feel free to go into those docs and, uh, on Compass's site because um, there's lots to see here and there's, you know, almost too much to show. But it's absolutely awesome. Um, check it out. It's very good. Well, that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions or uh, comments or, you know, you just want to know something else, feel free to leave a comment and let us know how we're doing or, you know, let us know what you want to see. Uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching. Bye.